Headmasters, Master Ceremony, Tunnel Judges, Teachers, and my fellow friends. Today, I would like to be telling all of you of the entire story of King Midas. Now, King Midas was a king that loved gold very, very much. Now, he would do anything for gold. He'll run around the entire field for gold. That was just how much he loved gold. Now, one day, while he was sitting in his throne room, poof, a wizard appeared. The wizard went, Hello, King Menace, today I would like to give you a wish. Anything you say shall be done. And then King Midas went, Well, I want everything I touch turned into gold. And then the wizard went, Are you sure, my king? That sounds risky. But King Midas insisted. Now, the wizard had no choice to accept knowing full well what would happen. Now, on the night it happened, the wizard poofed out of nowhere, and he poofed away. In the morning, King Midas hardly slept. Now, he woke up, touched the walls, poof, it turned into gold. He touched the coffee pots, poof, it turned into gold. He touched his cup, poof, it turned into gold, as expected. He touched all of his clothing, all of his jackets and his crown, it turned into gold. King Midas was so happy that he ran around the palace touching anything he could find. Helmets, swords, shirts, anything he could find, poof, they were turned into gold. Now, King Midas was so happy that he ran into the dining room and touched anything he could find. Now, he was very tired from running around everywhere in the palace, so he sat down at the dining table, ready to eat his chicken feast. Now, just as he was about to take a bite of his chicken, poof! It turned into gold. He was surprised, and he held it up. This is impossible to eat, he said. Now, he grabbed a cup of water, was about to drink it, and but poof, it turned into gold. He was so sad. He could not drink nor eat. He just sat on the dining table, feeling sad, because he was hungry and tired. So, a couple minutes later, the princess arrived. Daddy was about to give the king a big old hug until the princess was turned into gold. The king was so sad that he cried and wept all over the floor. Oh, what have I done? This is a mistake. This is the irony. Until the wizard appeared. Poof. Now, now, King Midas, have you finally regretted what you said? King Midas went, yes, oh yes, this is my mistake. Please turn back everything I touched into gold. The wizard went, well, well, now, if you touch anything you turned into gold before, it'll turn back to normal. Now, King Midas, after hearing that, ran around the entire palace, touching everything he could find, including the princess, his shirts, the helmet, the sword, anything he could find that was gold turned back to normal. Now, after all this, he finally could eat and drink. He Now, he understood that money and gold is not always the most important thing. Now, that's the lesson of the story. Thank you for listening. Hello there people, my name is Fernando and today I'll be doing some magic tricks. All of them will be coin tricks and there's going to be a total of three. So let's get to the first one. Now, the first trick is going to be a simple coin trick that I learned to do when I was eight. Now, this coin trick will make it disappear from the table. We'll just start rubbing it and with my fairy magic it should disappear. Any second now, okay, any second now, it should disappear, hold on, hold on, I feel the tingle, I feel the tingle, if I just 
Okay, I think it worked. I think that worked. Okay, boom, and it actually disappeared. That's amazing. All right, now the coins disappeared. Let's get on to the second one. On to our second trick, and this is also going to be a coin trick, by the way. We're going to put our lucky quarter here. All right, we're going to start swiping and swiping. It's not gone yet. It's going to be gone later, though. All right, let's do it. Okay. I think it's going to be gone later. Hold on. It's gonna be gone later. Okay, fun. I feel I feel it dissolving. I think it's gone, or is it? And uh, boom, it actually is gone. And no, it's not behind my hands. It's actually gone. All right, on to our last trick. And well, it's gonna be another coin trick. All right, here is a coin. Here is a hand. Now we do this. It should transmit my magic power to these coins. Now, if I keep rubbing them, they're not gone yet, but they're gonna be gone later. Okay. If I just start rubbing them, okay, we do some magic here. Okay, squirrelies, okay, we do squirrelies. And it should be gone, bro. It's gonna be gone. And I think, I honestly think it's gone. It's, it's gone. It's gone. It's, it's, it's actually, it's actually gone. Where is it? 